Hello, I'm James and in this episode we are going to be covering a bunch of surprisingly creepy, funny, interesting, sad and amusing easter eggs in video games that all happen to lurk in graveyards, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. In the tiny village of Linden Vale, down to the southeast of the burned ruins within the Witcher 3, the notice board contains a contract to deal with the Merry Widow and a grave hag who feasts upon the rotten corpses it is dug out of the nearby cemetery. And it is after dealing with the beast and collecting your reward that it wouldn't be a bad idea to return to the cemetery where two statues now reside and that begin to stalk you like the weeping angels from Doctor Who. Interesting. To the north of the district of Vinewood, located in Los Santos in GTA San Andreas, the Vinewood Cemetery is positioned, and within the mausoleum that dominates a large part of it, you will find numerous tombs, pizza boxes, a TV, and an armchair that also happen to reference Spike's crypt from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. While at the southern end of the cemetery, between the hours of 8pm and 6am, graffiti appears on the eastern boundary wall reading, Families for Life. But the two E's and the S apparently seem to be drawn as sixes to represent 666. Then in the district of Hashbury, several rows of greys stretch out across the plots that all bear the same description reading, Rest in Peace, Opposition implying that GTA San Andreas killed off the competition, including that of Driver and the True Crime series. If you happen to buy Content Collection 2 DLC for Modern Warfare 3, it will include The Sanctuary, a multiplayer map where to the far south this peaceful graveyard resides. But by crouching down in three separate positions and by listening carefully, you will hear these ghostly voices. That actually relate to the Davis family's vacation to London during the mission known as Mind the Gap. Honey, you're missing it. Daddy, look over here. <laughs> look at me, Daddy. She's really hyper today. Sarah, don't go too far. Birds, look, mommy, there's birds. That's your daughter. While in Naughty Dog's first instalment to the Uncharted series, Drake's Fortune, it is during Chapter 15 on the trailer Treasure that you should check out this large graveyard statue that sports a very cheeky message written in Spanish, which apparently upset a few gamers at the time, and if you do happen to translate it back to English, it will say this.
Then in Friday the 13th the game, the multiplayer map Higgins Haven is based on Chris Higgins and her family's property from the 1982 movie instalment, and featured in the northwest there is a cemetery that contains many graves, all of which are actually dedicated to backers of the game's Kickstarter campaign and who pledged more than $1,000. Two notable graves include this one from YouTuber H2O Delirious and this amusing message referencing the Achievement Hunter series. During the 19th century there was a chap named John Gray, a night watchman who worked for the Edinburgh City Police and who owned a Sky Terrier known as Bobby. And supposedly when John passed away, Bobby spent the next 14 years guarding his grave until he died himself. And in GTA 5 located in the Hill Valley Cemetery, just hang around this plot on any day around 11am and this will happen. And to see us out, here are a bunch of amusing headstones that can be found in Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption, dotted between two cemeteries including this one found in Oddfellas Rest in New Austin, and another one situated just on the outskirts of Blackwater, that also so happens to contain a grave belonging to someone who passed away more than 50 years after the game's setting.